Hey everyone, so this is my face of the day. I did not do a tutorial on this. I wasn't planning on filming anything, but I do have some extra time. So I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing today. I kind of like it. It's kind of like the colors are all over the place. Um, like I have, I'll just show you what I used. Um, I obviously prepped and primed my eye. I used my Bare Minerals primer. And I did my 5-in-1 BB Cream Eyeshadow from Bare Minerals. And then I went in with this. Now, I've had this duo for so, so, so long. And I just never, never, never touched it. I mean, I might have used it a little bit here and there. But not really. So, I pulled it out. And I realized this color... Um, which is called Daydream. It's like that. It's just a straight cream eyeshadow, like creamy color. And it matches my eyelid tone, especially with the BB cream, like perfect. It's the color that I have on my eyelid. It literally just looks like my skin tone just better, um, more even. So I really like that. And I did go in with this color, which is called Wanderlust. And it is a taupey brownie. Um, I see a hint of like a purple, but it's not purple at all. Um, unless you're really into like color theory and stuff, you would see what I see. But it's, it's just like, um, a taupey, satiny, um, brown. It's like a brown. It's like a taupey brown. Um, but anyway, I really like it. It does have a sheen to it. So I did want to put something in the crease. So I would call that more of a satin finish. So yeah. Um, the other color that I used, which was the Nick of Time, which I don't know why I put it away. Did I put it away? So this one's called the Nick of Time. Um, Chance is the light color. Kismet is the this color here. And this is what I have underneath my brow bone. Um, and this is what I have in above the gray um the taupe color gray taupe I don't even know what to call it. we'll call them wonderless that's the color it's called and then I decided I want a little bit more volume because I can never have just three eyeshadows on my eyelid I went in with my Mac eyeshadow which I've been loving lately the yellow and I went in with juiced okay it looks like that and it is also like a sheen does it say what it is here Nope, it's just called Juiced. And I also have owned that eyeshadow for longer than you're spot probably supposed to own any kind of eyeshadow. But I just recently rediscovered it. And I love it. I love it. It's just that warmth yellow that you see right in there. I'm not trying to show you this eye because I totally botched the eyeliner. But you know what? I'm not going to a fashion show, so we'll just pretend that's not there, okay? Um... <laughs> But, yeah, I went in with my, um, I tried reusing the eyeliner that I don't like that Christy uses, and she loves it. It's the NYC eyeliner. It gets chunky. You really can't, unless you get it on one or two swipes, like, there's just no way I feel like anybody can really use this. I like my Wet n Wild one because it doesn't dry as quickly, and it doesn't get chunky on my eyelid unless it's getting old. This one's, like... Once you layer it, it gets chunky, and then it also is not even that black. Anywho, I don't like it, but I'm going to do my best to use it because I bought it. Um, what else? That's as far as the eyes go. I used those three quad or two quads and the yellow. And then underneath, I went in just because, I don't know. There's no rhyme or reason when I do my makeup. I went in with Expensive Pink from MAC, which looks just like that. And I went underneath my eye with that. I just thought that was kind of pretty. So on my face today, I'm using my Hourglass Primer, the sample one that I got. And I like it. I really do, to be honest. I really do. Really, really like it. Am I going to buy it? I don't know. That's a lot of money. Anyway, um, with bare skin. And this time, I decided to do it in the way that I was told it didn't work. Um... I set it with my Bare Minerals, but I used the matte. Um, and I like it. I really like it. Like, um, I'm not going to knock anybody for saying anything because in my review video, I recommended to not do that. 
Um, but to be honest, like I really wish I would have tried it out first more. I think at that point I had tried it or I said like I wasn't going to because I'd heard from so many not to set it because it would get ugly and kicky. Now it will if you put too much makeup on, but I really do believe that goes with any, any foundation you use from drugstore to high end. You put too much on and you will look gross and cakey. So I literally have two drops of bare skin and I've been using the e.l.f. Um, stippling brush, which is also something I said wouldn't go. Um, I feel like redoing the video because now I have more de insight to that foundation. And it's still a remarkable foundation. I just wish I would have tested it out more. But I was so excited. I loved it with by me putting my fingers on. I loved it. I loved it with the brush that I chose. Um, that video is still 100% true in the mindset that I was in at that time. So I think I am going to do an updated video. But anyway, I'm liking it with this. This is a firmer, stiffer brush. So I think that's why I'm liking it. But the other day I used... Um, oh, I have like a rogue hair. Whatever. I used this to put on the matte. And then I went over it with the Bare Minerals skin. That's another video I'll be going into. But today I did it with the bare skin first and then the bare minerals mat on top. Loved it. Um, because I felt like buying something at Target, <laughs> but I didn't want to spend money. Um, a lot of money. I went, I bought the e.l.f. Glow Bronzer. Healthy Glow. And it's really making my cheeks glow. I have no highlighter on. And I didn't, I used um, my, like a big fluffy brush. Like I wasn't trying to contour and all that none of that today so it does look kind of blotchy and i think that's what this is from because you really can't concentrate this color because it, it does have a shimmer to it um so it's meant just for like an all over radiance and i do like that but for a buck it's not bad um on my cheeks i have my blush my precious pearl blush from bare minerals they no longer sell it but it's one of those ones it's a mauve that you would pass up because you think it's ugly but it's really pretty and I really do like it um, this shine is ridiculous look at that and I waxed my face again which I stopped doing that for years and I hated it but I redid it and I broke out which is normal your skin purges what else oh my the mascara now I did do a video about the rocket um, waterproof um, but I just it takes it I don't like waterproof on my eyes but I, so I finally bought the regular black is black is the one they had a very black and black is black. And I think I got black is black and, um, I love this mascara. Like I really, really do. I don't have like crazy eyelashes. So, you know, I, I'm not expecting false lash look, but anyway, I really like this and that pretty much completes my look except for my lips. I have hue lipstick from MAC and I added Stylista nope party starter moxie from bare minerals and it looks just like that so like a hot peachy pink with the most minute golden flex so that's my look guys it's really really simple it wasn't even worth the video but if I get overwhelming response on this which I don't um, <laughs> then I will make a tutorial on it. But yeah, I do appreciate every one of you guys that are commenting uh, recently, liking my videos, and really um, taking part in, you know, my channel. I really do appreciate it. I've had my channel for so long, and I feel like it's really not gone anywhere, but that's also because I haven't been consistent with it. Um, but I'm really hoping to change that. I'm, I'm feeling really indifferent about it. Like, a lot of me, a part of me, for a while has wanted to stop but I really enjoy doing it and I mean I know I'll never get super famous um, not even famous just I don't think that YouTube for me will ever be an income and when I first started YouTube I didn't know you can make money off of it I had no intentions of ever making money off of YouTube um, so for that matter my intentions were always just pure fun and that's pretty much where I'm at I see girls that they start their YouTube and within less than a year they have over 100,000 subscribers and I think it's so awesome and so remarkable and a hint of jealousy. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Um, 
and it's basic makeup you know it's basic hauls and you know YouTube used to be so creative and there used to be so much more to people's videos and now it's your everyday girl next door who has money hauling a bunch of shit and you know I don't have a problem because I like watching those videos I do so yeah but I don't know I'm just doing me and I appreciate every one of you guys that have been there for me since the beginning five years ago and um, yeah you guys stay with me I don't plan on stopping my YouTube anytime soon and I just do me I do what I like to do um, I'm not as creative as I used to be uh, but I think that comes with my age as well um, I've gotten older so yeah I'm also a mom of three now and um, I'll be 30 next year so my makeup style in itself has changed a lot too but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this little face of the day let me explain what i have on my face and then talk to you guys so yeah bye